What's up, punters and dribblers? Welcome back to About Even for another week. It's magic round, motherfuckers, and I am horny for it. We're brought to you by our good friends at Ned's. Shout out to Ned's. We love you, Ned's. Punt with Ned's. Good on you, Ned's. Tip top's the one. Sebo, Eddie, Rue's gone down sick. He's got a touch of the 2022 Tommy Berms about him here. He's gone down. And he's, he's got a touch of the pre-good days about him. Yeah. This isn't about good day, but he did put up a, like, what's bringing me back post the other day? Bang. Right here. <laughs> and I've got good it. day's not on there. So, And that's why he's still sick. Well, it's a fucking... Well, it's also a slap in the face for us. Like, you know, we're here trying to change the the face of men's uh, multivitamin. Not men's multivitamin, multivitamins generally. Yeah, women can take But it. Guru is a man. Yes. So he's gone as down as sick, know. as far as we know. We've never seen him. We've never I've seen never him. seen his he penis. He could be smooth down there. Yeah, he could be. Know. He could yeah, be he like could a flaps. fucking action man. He could have flaps. Or he could have flaps. What do you think? If you had to bet. Hmm? If you had to bet. Yeah. Flaps. Yeah, I'd say flaps. I think it's probably yeah. a flaps. I think yeah, he's a flaps guy. <laughs> 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 so he's gone. He's put this photo up on his story. His his best mates have, multi, have a, a multivitamin that's trying to fucking, you know, that could help here. Mm. Armor Force. Also feel like we support him. We support him. Mm. Fucking oath we do. Yep. Old Flaps Guru. Armor Force. Honey. Hydrolyte. Hydrolyte. Two Hydrolytes. Another honey. Green tea. Diflam. Panadol. Butter menthols. Nurofen. Eucalyptus. Cold water. Tissues. Like. All you needed was a box of good day and you're fine. That's all you needed. I swear we've given him. Well, he's clearly, he's clearly not using it, Tom. No. And that's why he's sick and that's why he's not made any progress as far as I'm aware. Yeah. He's made absolutely no progress. I mean, he was sick on the weekend. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Like, bruh, come on. You don't have a flu for fucking a week. Get it together. Unless, <sighs> unless you've been actively avoiding good day, which yep. is just stupidity at its absolute height. It's very stupid. Just quickly, Eddie, before we get into the show proper, Magic yeah. Round, Friday, Arvo, we've got our live show with Guru, yep. if he is to make it. Uh, then on uh, in the evening, we've got our live stream with Kempi uh, for Broncos Manly. That's going to be on KO if you can't get to Magic Round. But currently, it's like a it's a free event. It's not ticketed, so it's just first in best dress. Don't know what the capacity is, but it's not humongous. So you've got to get in there, and you've got to get in there early. That's right. Saturday, we are at Milton McDonald's right near Suncorp Stadium uh, from 12.30. We're doing a live podcast with Justin the Scope Hero and James Graham. And then Sunday, busiest guys in Magic Round, back at that Milton McDonald's again with the one and only Cooper Johns. That's 11.30, is that right, Eddie? That's correct. Uh, if you fail to hear what Tom just said, go to the Hello Sport Instagram. It'll be pinned. Yep. There'll be a pinned post basically outlining our movements if you want to come and stalk us Martha style. Yes. Haven't seen it, but I do get it because we've just... That was a baby reindeer it. reference, mm. Tom. Yeah, like I get that you don't watch a lot of shows, but this is like zeitgeisty stuff. No, dude, you know I want to I mean? watch this one. Yeah. I'm just getting through Shogun at the moment. Yeah. And so this is it's high on my list. Also, yeah. Steph wasn't really keen to watch it. Uh, and so I was just like, all right, well, she's watching Shogun. So like, yeah. I'm going to... Yeah. But this is just a quick, you know, twenty-minute episode. Oh, you episodes. can pound them. You can, you can, you can pound. pound. Oh, you yeah. take them a pound. Down. It's not a shogun. It's not a shogun. You know, it's not a slow chess piece moving like uh, show. It's fast paced, yeah, stalker, okay. British, quick narration. It's you know also I mean? kind of a good one. It sounds like a twenty-minute ep- one is a good one to have because, like, Steph will fall asleep probably about twenty minutes into any show yep. episode, and then I've got to watch that final twenty minutes again the next night. Yeah, it's ah, oh, it's the worst because I always Fuck finish. Me, mate. Nearly goes to bed. I'll finish the 20 minutes. I can't help it. You know what I mean? But then you have to go like, you have to tactically go like, hey, babe, we're going to have a shower. Maybe you finish the 20 minutes. This is exactly what I did last night. (laughs) But that's, no. (laughs) You see, you got to be more tactical than that, gentlemen. You need to be able to read the room and play a little bit of Eyes Up Rugby League. I don't watch those sort of shows. Shows that we're watching together are not watched in bed late at night because. I have to fucking rewatch shows fifty thousand times. Yeah, but this is even on the couch. like Midsummer Murders goes on late at night. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Look, because yeah. we watch fucking five minutes of it and it's good night nurse. Yeah, so I go perfect. That's the problem. It is the problem, and I mean you're right. It probably is if you keep it on the couch, then sleep is not going to happen. No, but Millie goes, I got to go to bed. And That's fair exactly enough. what I'm just yeah, yeah, We're both yeah. in a similar situation. Yeah. yeah. Where they just get tired as fuck, yep. and you're like, "Okay, sweet, we'll watch them in bed." <laughs> and then you and I, mate, I was a bee's dick from finishing the series last night of Shogun, just going, "Fuck her, she's asleep." I'm just going to watch it anyway. Accountability, accountability, Edward. Last week, punters and dribblers, 
your old mates up on the panel, did pretty well. Dolphins defeated the Seagulls 30-24 to in probably, a, I would say, the upset of the decade. Just a shit game of rugby league. Manly awful. fucking letting leads go. Just awful stuff. Awful. Great I'd, viewing. Great viewing if you're not a Manly fan. Righto, I'd Sebo. Yeah, shut yeah. the fuck up. I know it was your birthday yesterday, but it's <laughs> not today. Now, the lippy, I did say this on the show last week, though, Sebo. Nickels into turbo. Yep. I like the yep. look of that. Yep. It smelt right. Yep. Mm. You know what I'm saying? 1759. Lippy touching himself at this stage because he put on like 60 to 1 bets last week trying to trump the fucking trump trying to trump the boys. Uh you came well short of that champion. Uh Panthers 16 defeated the Bulldogs 10. I looked at that and I thought, nah. 15 and a half points. Madness. In the wet with the uh I think as Lou I put it, the Panther Penrith Bulldogs. Yes, that's right. I mean, half the side was ex-Panthers This players. is a good bet from you, Eddie. And they wanted to, they, you just knew they wanted to stand up and deliver. Cleary going out mid-game also helped one young Edward Simpson. Mm. ninety, you triple that bitch, and you take your seven and a half units and you fucking move on. When I was in, uh, I was at the airport in Fiji and I consulted the Instagrams because mm. obviously I was just putting me bets on over there mm. and I saw dogs plus 15 and a half triple stakes. You like the like, you like the look of it? I did, and I was fucking angry at myself that I didn't just Because that's, a, that's, that's the sort of bet you'd usually do. It's a good bet. It's a really good bet. Because you've got a, you've got a nose for a line. Now, dogs, <laughs> uh, Taruba doesn't score. <laughs> <laughs> Taruba doesn't score, so Tom doesn't get his. No. Uh, kick out two plus was bold from Sebo. Uh, Lippy, <laughs> there's minus bold. 15 and a half, Cleary, no good. Broncos 34 defeat the Eels 14. Tommy Berms. This is the easiest bet of the week, truthfully. Like, and again, I know that I, like, it's... It's hard to argue at the moment. I am, I'm like a game day fucking footy punter. I'm like in. You the have bloody, been for like the last month. What's really. the um? What's the fucking thing at the ho- in the in the horse racing game? Uh the show yard. Oh, what would they call that? What, Were the they marching yard? around? Were they walking around Is the mountain yard? yard? I'm the, a mountain yard. You know what it's called yard. at Randwick. The theatre of the horse. Dude, I'm in I'm theatre of the horse guy at the yeah. moment. I need to go down there and I need to see the fucking like the mood the horse is in. You're a theatre of the horse I'm guy. I'm a theatre of the horse better at the moment. Mm. And man Walsh Cobbo, in hindsight, you look at that and you go, Of course that's what happens against the Eels, right? That's mm. the easiest fucking rugby league bet of all time. Ezra Mam, outside of the entirety of the Manly Seagulls top thirty, he is my favourite player. I I was a stag short. That's just me biting off more than I can chew. Um, unfortunately, Pierre Cora doesn't score for Sebo. Rogers doesn't score for Guru after he wrapped him and sucked him for five minutes. And Willison doesn't score for Lippy. So, we, we, listen, we're, we're getting bets at the moment, punters and dribblers. Know this. Knights, 20 defeat the Tigers, 14. I'll put my hand in the air and make an admission to the panel. Me and Kai Pierce Paul, we're done. Yep. I've tried to fucking get him here and there. Put a line through the cunt. He should be 30 bucks to one to fucking score a try, and he's like four bucks every week. Madness. He's Makes also no on the sense. bench now. I don't know if he was on the bench last week. He but was. He's he came off the bench last he week. He was off the bench last week, which I saw. I didn't think I didn't I thought he was starting last week. It's not the point. It's not the point. It's not the point. Just stay as far away from Kai Pierce Paul as you can. Because Guru literally, like, just solely inflated. He's, yeah, he's good with yeah. Yeah, 100%. In this he keeps completely. saying English Sunny Bill, and it's a great tagline. It's a great tagline, English Sunny Bill. But, like, he's moved the markets <laughs> and distorted our perception of reality. Is he a Super League Sunny Bill, where it's like, you might be good in the Super League, but now you're playing with the big, thick Australian boys? Yeah, being, being, being a Super League Sunny Bill... What does that mean? Well, it means you. It means that that's where you win. Man it means you're a D. Baby. Means you're a. It means you're a D class NRL player. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Yeah, that's the, but that's, that's the, the, that's the Is that not and the it's KPP? People like to put that with KP when yeah. KP was like, you know what I mean? And it's four bucks. It's yeah, not worth I mean, it. Look, you look, can look. get a Brimo for four bucks and look at him. Yeah. What, what do you get for What do you get for Kai Pierce Paul this week? Uh this Rando. week. Let me check it out. Well, you, off the bench, so you get it. a bit. Yeah, yeah but I would, yeah, like it. Watch him be three bucks or something. Fuck. Yeah, it won't be enough. Uh, he is six dollars twenty. Wow. Okay, so he's starting to watch move. him yeah. score. These are breadcrumbs. These are breadcrumbs. That's the breadcrumb. Yeah, that's the breadcrumb. Yeah, that's a breadcrumb. Yeah, 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 bread yeah, yeah. Dragons twenty-eight defeated the Rabbitohs fourteen. No bet from Tommy uh, has been docked. Yep, did forget. Sebo though. Mm. Talk me through it, bruh. I was watching this one from my phone, and I saw obviously the Lomax try cross early. Saw the first Trell try, but then shit hit the fan as it 
usually does. You know what I mean? Uh, and then I was kind of just checking the NRL app and things like that. But Tobler, Tobler shot the message through before well, I could Well, of course check. he does. Tobler like, doesn't even Tobler allow you to yeah, discover yeah, it. Yeah, not at all. He's just like, well done on your bet. And you're like, fucking hell. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. And I swear he's, I don't know what fucking service he's watching. Obviously, Kobe, but he's got like some super internet speed. It's like five I'm minutes in- before... Yeah, I, I love it. Though. Even I love yeah, it. I love it because it's like you know, you, it's a message you want to get. You know what I mean? So many notifications. Sometimes it's just like, okay, whatever. I'm part of fifty fucking groups, mm. but seeing a bang there, went back and watched it, and it was yeah, it was a lucky try. Uh, also, that's like a lucky bet because Trell had a shitter of a game as well. Yeah, but they're both off like little dribble kicks. And but look, you'll take it. I mean, I thought there was a vibe, but, but Trell. And look, I know people get up and for celebrating when they're losing, but I actually think he's in a bit of a mood, and he set himself a target of like I want to score two, and that's why I was happy. Didn't that, like defending I, him. I picked up on that vibe. Uh, for seventeen thirty-eight, Trell two. They plus. got pumped though by the Dragons That's twenty-eight I mean. fourteen. So yeah, yeah I mean, we've shit. lost every game this season. So you know, just yeah. Have you? Yeah. When when was the no, last game you won? We, we beat won. the Dogs and so one one win. You've had one yeah, win. Yeah. So. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> like Manly's <laughs> fucked at the moment, but one. No, nah, but I, I, what are the rabbits? What are the rabbits paying for the spoon now? Because it's like it's like three bucks. They were fifty-one yeah, at the start. Of the three season, bucks. I'd be taking that. Were they fifty-one at the start of the year? I actually don't think they'll win the spoon. I would have been hundred and one because they were one of the favourites to win the comp. At one point, yeah, yeah but they, they never give you. So it'll up. be the Rabbitohs or the Tigers. Because you it was it was Tigers like, lost. oh, you got Jackie. Yeah, Warren, the two sixty. Your season. Two sixty. Two sixty. Most losses. Well, that's that's not enough value. Anymore. Tigers are three dollars seventy five. So they're the favourite. Bunnies to win the spoon. Bunnies are the favourite. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's only. But look, it's just, the I Tigers are going to win a couple more games. Rabbitohs surely. You guys got a lot of injuries. Yeah, like, when people, people come start back. coming back, I reckon they'll get a few wins. I'm not going to say they're going to get out of the bottom four, but I doubt they get the spoon. We will see. Sharks 25 defeated the Storm 18. Everyone red. Yeah. Not a single leg. How the fuck does anyone like So that? we will swiftly move on to Sunday, Super Sunday. This is where I start to work. Roosters 38 defeated the Warriors 18. I do hit a dummy into a Crichton. That's just, that's the easiest fucking bet of all time. It's a six-minute bet. Six-minute bet. Six-minute bet. 561. So easy. Sebo swapped out cheese for Watson. Falls short. Guru swapped out uh, RTS for Manu, falls short. Can mm. we argue, and I and I think I can argue in a court of law, when the Roosters are absolutely humming, like fucking humming, to not get a Manu when you hit a cry? We've, we've known that. We've known that. No, but, that but, but Manu, Manu <laughs> doesn't pass, and then Domi, like when you're on Suali'i on the wing, Eddie, when you and I, when you're yes. Suali'i and Manu's yes. inside him, he doesn't yes. pass. No, he doesn't. And then he's throwing just absolute fucking erection-inducing flick passes to Dommy Young. Well, he watches the show. Run yourself when we're on. He must watch the show. He has to. He must, he must watch he the must show. He must follow me on profile. He, we, yeah. That night we were on him on the plane on back from Melbourne. There was zero intention of him passing the ball. None. Zero. Mm. And now he's throwing flick passes from God. Titans 20 defeated the Cowboys 18. This was good stuff. Tom and I just saluting. I'll go first because his odds were high. Titans, AJ Nanai, 1271. Tommy. Yep. AJ Nanai feet for feeder. Easy. $15.01. Yeah, almost as easy as my Broncos bet, but basically the same. Like, just fucking easy. Of course that happens. Yeah. I mean, and, it was a shootout, and shootout scorers got there. Yeah. And the uh, unit scoopers, AJ first try score, no. You know what's fucked up as well is that mm. I was just going to go, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to put two of the exact same bets on for this game and just go that bet twice, and I didn't, and it just it's kept me awake all weekend. That's annoying. Uh, I was a Seagulls minus two and a half into a stag short, three out of five, Sebo one out of five. Guru, now a stroke of rugby league luck here for this fucking loser who – has just fallen on his ass more times than I can count this season, has got, we'll get to the leaderboard, has just got a pathetic amount of bets right, but falls into a unit scooper last week because RTS was in there, doesn't play, so he comes out and the bet, once it's put on, is still live. They just take the leg out and adjust the odds. Which is nice that that happens, but... I was initially when I saw that coming through, I was like, geez. But there's nothing feel you like can do. There's nothing you can do. No, there's nothing you can do. I feel like if those odds were higher, the the uh, the cunt in all of us would have denied him of that bet. I just no, but if, if, if the bookie ago, does pay you the bet, then, then it's then, then it's paid. Yeah, and, he, no, and, he had, and he had the yeah. slips. It's a good point. He gets nine seventy eight for that, so he salutes. You swallow nine seventy eight. If he, if, that, if RTS had fallen out and it was still like yep. fifty bucks, he'd be fucking fuming. He needed that too. The Roo uh, hot seat. He does get a David Fafita, so he will go on to week two. Leaderboard all green last week. 
Is that our first full green? Which I, I don't think we've had an all green in ever. Almost. Yep. I can't recall. Maybe we have. We, well, we definitely we, have. We definitely had the panel year. all green, but this year, no, not even close. Lippy. Even Lippy. Mm. I was three from nine plus 11.9 units. Tom in second, two from nine, 5.67. Rue, third, one from nine, 4.56. Sebo, one from nine, 1.61. And the Lippy, one from nine, 0. 0.79. Very impressive stuff. Boars. <laughs> Guru, four from 94 bets. This is what I'm talking about. Four from 94 bets, 4.25%. 4.25% of his bets up. His first minus 16.77. So he's actually the worst bet percentage of anyone. So the next the next worst is Sebo, who's minus 66, and he's six from 94. Two more bets than Rue. Two more yep. at 6.38. Triples, dude. Triples fuck you. Yeah. But, like, you know, listen, it's it's about what you hit, right? Like, he's hit some fucking quality He's hit two unit scoopers. If he, didn't hit his, if he didn't hit his last unit scooper, he'd be in one of the great holes of yeah. all time. But he did. And if, the man is up there. But I don't he, like his chances. Yeah, I don't like his chances. He's cause He just hasn't showed the, the, the pedigree. I'm second, minus 28. Lippy third, minus 33. Tom fourth, minus 44. So you've... you've I've, you're listen, moving in the right direction. Well, I am. But when I went away, I was in the 20s. So... Okay. It's not great. Well, that the unit scooper last week was bad for you. Why? The Broncos. You didn't hit the Broncos. Oh, not unit scooper, the triple. Oh, that fuck. Yeah, yeah. that hurt. That if you hurt. don't hit a triple, yeah. it'll you're in huge trouble. fuck you up. Yeah. No, you're in huge trouble. Especially if it's $1.90. Now, Sebo, you are still last, my friend, but you have moved up slightly. You're minus 66. Cauterize the wound. That's what I'm trying to do. Save some unit scooper units. I don't even know if you've cauterized it yet. We've just given you a couple of those fucking saving yeah, but and morphine. It's, it's stopped. It's the bleeding has stopped. Well, yes, because yeah, you I did move in the right. You, you, you were, you were, you, you moved one point six one in the positive. Yep. So that's great. Yep. So congratulations. That's great for you. But you're still our minus sixty six after ten rounds. Yep. And uh, and is your like I was I was led to believe that your you've got a new tactic which, well, I know the, you've obviously again like over the years I just know that you've been quite um, critical of the tactic, but now you're just going fucking. As well, this is the way I've possible. worked it out. Is it's not it's not about that. It's more about how many weeks are left. About twenty three, so that's uh, twenty three unit scoopers, which is two hundred and thirty dollars. So I need to have my unit scooper money there. So then that leaves me with like a hundred dollars left to play until I get a unit scooper. So I'm <laughs> right. basically just aiming for the unit scooper. You know what I mean? If you're yep. in a fucking battle, it's like the left flank, the right flank, they're all fucking done. Mm. But the middle of us. We've got some spears up there. Let's just keep charging. Sure. You know what I mean? Yep. It's okay. tactical. Yep. It's not just throwing. It's not cons uh, like you used to do it when you're at the top. So you wouldn't, you'd stay at the top. I'm doing it at the bottom to conserve for you. Well, scoopers. I That's mean, I difference. just used to do it because I believed in the bets. That's all I was just had <laughs> belief. Unshakable belief. Is accountability. That's accountability. Let's get into some punting, shall we? I'm looking forward to this magic round week. Um, who's our lippy this week? His name. So he got in, um, he sent me a DM saying he's got, you know, a multi with like all the, the favourites that were, that I like, you know what I mean? All my guys. But then once I got the messages, um, it's more like he's just got bangs with like them in different bets. You know what I mean? So he didn't get like a big smoothie. So I kind of got oh. winked into it. But admittedly, he so got like, he got no, he got like heaps of like little two, three leg multis with guys that we like, no big smoothie. But before I even had a chance to review it, He'd sent through his bets for the week. So well, then you've I was be like, quick. you know what I mean? You've got to um I respect that. Now his name is Bo. It's a weird one. Bo Wamsley. Walmsley. Yeah. Wham Bo Walmsley. That's an awful <laughs> name to have to pronounce. And that's no <laughs> knock on you, but it just like to say Walmsley. I would have changed it. Yeah. Midsummer Night's Murder or whatever it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's in a It's also one that probably like what, was it Wamsley or is it because Wamsley you're getting paid out at school I assume Wamsley well there's the L that maybe he's put the L in to stop it being to stop being Wham yeah Wamsley yeah. and Wormsley yeah which, Wh Walms it's Walms. like a Joe Dirt Joe Dirte type situation Walmsley <laughs> that's just a kind of a word to say sorry mate <laughs> no uh, just a little bit of an update mid show apparently Wayne Bennett's agreed to terms three years <laughs> huge yes. oh if he wow. never left in the first place, so would have had a premiership. But we'll take the fact you yeah. guys let him go, because that was apparently what it was. But as Wayne's well. a bit of a three-year cowboy, isn't he? Like he just goes from town to town. You know, he's not really like dedicated to anyone for ten. Years. No, but from what I was led to believe, guy. the um, the bunnies were like almost trying to be too cute with it. 
they were like trying to. There's nothing. They better. were like, you know what we'll do? We'll get Wayne, and then we'll get him to fucking build up JD, and then we'll let him go. And JD, but it was like, why wouldn't you just hold on to the best coach in the NRL, who's got you in a grand final, and then you're letting him leave? But everyone's done that, right? The Broncos did it. Uh, Rabbitohs I know, did it, and they're all fucking dumb. Like <laughs> the even fish with are the, now doing the it. fish are doing it. <laughs> you're like, no coach has done well after Wayne has left. No, it, it's hilarious that clubs think that they know better. Like it's all these fucking suits sitting around thinking they know rugby league. It's yeah. like, oh, you think, oh, you fucking thirty-nine-year-old suit think you yeah. know more than Wayne yeah. Bennett, do you? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Trying to be seen to be. But sure. it's just Something. like Wayne's comes from a time that you just you can learn certain things being someone in this generation, but you're just not going to learn what Wayne does. Growing up in the seventies, eighties, you know, cop. You, you just you can't. You just can't no, you, you can't, can't replace it. winter yeah. scene. It's yeah. like trying to like, oh, you know, Tom Holland's going to be the next Bruce. It just doesn't happen like no, that. Like, that's, you know what I mean? Like, exactly right. You're not going to get an actor like Bruce Willis again. Am you, I, you, know, you, you get good actors. You well, know, also, you, like, leading men uh, like aren't even bald anymore. Right? Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Shout out Jason Statham, but he's, like, doing weird movies like The Beekeeper, right? Like, <laughs> Bruce Willis is, like, fucking Pulp Fiction Bruce Willis. Like, yeah, you know. manly Bruce Willis. Six, no no six, disrespect yeah. to Tom Holland, but yeah. a, a stiff breeze blows that kid away. Yeah, yeah he could sell some box office tickets, sure. But it's but not like, Oscar It's not yeah. Oscar shit. Yeah, but he's like got to be wearing it. His dads be... aren't watching it, no. you know what I mean? Fuck Bruce Willis, no. everyone was watching Everyone was watching it. Bruce. Everyone was watching Oh, new Bruce movies out. Sick. Sick. Mum, dad, the kids, they're all going. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because those times, growing up him in the 70s and 80s, created a type of man like Bruce. Yeah, well, chest hair. Now we got Tom Holland. And even the good actors, like bloody June guy, he's still like, you know. He's a, a twink. He looks like a pixie. <laughs> yeah, that's dude. what, yeah, that's what it's I'm saying. Twink. It's twink. It's, it's the era of the yeah, twink. The era of the twink is here. Like the, ner the nerds broke down the wall with Michael Serra and Jesse Eisenberg <laughs> yeah. and those guys. Yeah. And I'm like, I can oh, be nerds cool are cool. Too. So nah, you're cool for five years. Yeah, now I'm in a magician <laughs> film. No, dude, you look yeah. like a loser. Yeah, exactly. Or and it's that's like steroid Now, that's what's happened with coaches now yeah. you know what i mean yeah, like yeah, all yeah. the old school coaches just can't be surpassed by the younger generation yeah they're skinny, all like I'm skinny really rats cool. are in you know what i mean that right. comedian what's his fucking name that was with kim kardashian oh pete uh, davidson pete davidson yeah, yeah, yeah. skinny runty kid yeah, he's in yeah, tom yeah. holland skinny run <laughs> fuck like pixie they, chamolet <laughs> pixie chamolet fucking smooth barry balls, whatever chamolet. his name is the irish guy Oh, yeah. oh yeah, he's five yeah. foot fucking nothing. <laughs> Apparently, he's, he's like, f he's literally five foot. Who the fuck's that guy? The guy, guy that sucks loads out of the bath. It was, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that guy looks weird as shit. Yeah, but he's like like one of the best actors up and coming. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, yeah. thank God we've got that that uh, guy from Melbourne, the tall. Uh, oh, Joe Lordy or whatever. <laughs> yeah, a Lordy. Thank God he's hanging around. Punching on with photographers and shit. Well, just, showing, yeah, but just showing that men can still be <laughs> yeah. men and they don't have to be twinks. Old school Hollywood <laughs> class. Because that's the problem. Chest hair's gone. You're on. Everyone's on. If you're big, you're on steroids, and if you're small, you're a Twinkie Pixie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's bet. Let's bet. Uh, Raiders Bulldogs. These are all at Suncorp Stadium, so I don't necessarily need to mention that. Um, oh, I think you should just okay, in case people go. Oh, you didn't mention the stadium. Where are they playing? <laughs> uh, this is the 6 p.m. game. Raiders Dogs. Suncorp. Raiders 235. Dogs favorite. No one would have picked the start of your dogs to be faves. Dollar sixty. Three and a half points is the line. Totals forty two. Rando for the first time. Welcome, sir. How are you? What's going on? Give us some info. Uh, very well, thank you. Keen for Magic Round. Got some weather and some stats around it. First of all, it should be dry for all the matches, which is great to see. An early shower on Friday, but should be dry for kickoff. In terms of Magic Round stats, uh, this is the fifth edition of it. We've seen 43% of the favourites fail to cover the line. We've seen 62% of games go overs, with nine out of the 11 Sunday games going over. In terms of teams with form, we've got the Rabbitohs who have won all four games at Magic Round and the Dogs who have lost all four games at Magic Round. The Dragons also have lost all four games, but they're not playing. They've got the bye. So those are some stats to take into consideration okay. for this one. The Dogs have lost their last 12 games at Suncorp, which is the longest active losing streak at a venue. It is the 11th longest active losing streak at a venue in history. The Raiders have also won eight straight games against the Bulldogs. I think them as the underdogs is great value there. For try scorers, Stephen Crichton has scored six tries in his last five games against the Raiders, scoring in his last three games. And the Raiders have conceded four tries to right centres in their last four games. Fuck, Rando. What's the weather doing up there this week? Because I was up there last weekend. It's pretty wet. Nice and dry. Oh, nice and dry. So it was rain rain on Friday, but then dry for the rest of the weekend. Sunny on Saturday, Sunday. So f rain early, Friday. Early Friday. So you won't really see it during the, okay. the game. It should dry up by then. All right. Sebo, what's that doing for you, mate? 
I am just going to take a lot of try scorers in this one. Just a lot of try scorers. Because uh, a part of me is going, go unders. You know, I'm trying to go against my natural kind of instincts that have put me in this position. And I'm going for technically an immortal bet if it comes off. I'm going Joshy Carr and Zeri. So we're taking two dogs' backs. That left side, we love it there. They're going down there a lot. And then just going Huddy Young and Tarpanay. For the Raiders, that kind of forward, their love, their forwards love scoring. That's getting me 144 and 81 cents. Now that's a lot of money for something. It, it's just Tarpanay is pushing it up there. But Joshi Carr and Zeri is scoring a lot. Huddy Young pretty much scores the last try every second game he plays. Just Tarpanay, Tarpanay for 144, 81. Dude, I don't um, I don't mind it. I got to be honest. I saw it earlier on in the green yeah. room. Yeah. Because I feel the Raiders, again, like even with the injuries in the halves or Caesar's out or whatever, not Caesar, but, um, Fogarty, the forwards, just crash balls, you know what I mean? Tarpanay can score. I don't know if he scored much this year as he rando, but... No, he's only, oh, he hasn't scored at all this year. No. But he, 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 last year he scored quite a few. That's, but that's, how did you go last week with your theory on if they haven't scored, just throw them in? Well, the, actually, the legs went pretty well. The legs print went well, so everyone's going, what are you on CNK for? Nickel clogs today. Fucking got over the line. You know what I mean? Crichton. But like, did you get any bets? Uh, yeah, I did. Just so off that, <laughs> off the back of that, hasn't scored? Uh, that wasn't the main theory, but I just like the it idea. strong theory last that week. That basically, I don't like chasing down a DWZ or uh, someone who's a dollar fucking 70 because they've scored two weeks in a row where I'm enjoying looking for guys going, okay, you can score, and you're going to boost my odds up to an immortal size bet because I'm just like... Some of the try scorers are getting to you throw two of them together and it's like 320. No, thank you. No, thank you. That's what got me here in the first place. Convicted two legged try scorers and triple stake in lines. We're staying away from both of those things yeah. for the time being. Yeah. I um I had Huddy Cherry. I'm just changing it to Huddy Critter because of your critter stat there. 787. Just a double ender. I don't know what's gonna happen here. There's a part of me and a real part of me that wants to to get on the Raiders. Um, which would take me to seventeen twenty eight, which I'm gonna do. Uh, Raiders Hardy Critter. Fuck it, I'm doing it. Edward, I'm gonna follow you with the with the Raiders. I'm looking at this punters and dribblers, and I'm seeing Hardy Young at three bucks, and. In a week where I've perused the offering from our good friends at Ned's, and they obviously know more than I, there's blokes that are paying a dollar fifty, a dollar sixty, dollar seventy to score tries. We've got blokes to score two in the threes, in the threes to score two, and I see Hudson Young of should be a fucking Englishman fame, but isn't. He's actually from Maitland, threw Seb off several times, <laughs> sitting there. An absolute uh, try score of note at three bucks. And I think, yeah, I'm going to play that. Thank you very much. Matty Burton, five tries in nine games, sitting there at $3.10, just winking at me, going, yeah, you know it's origin selection soon, bro. And I've, if you don't think I've got my hand up against the Raiders, then you've lost your fucking mind. He scores a, he scores a meaty. And then I'm going to go with Rando based on the stats. Put the Raiders in there at two i I'm getting 19 and 15 cents. It's not bad. It's just not. It's, it's just not, not bad. It's not. It's, it's, just, really it's just not bad. It's just not bad. It's we 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 know it's not bad. We um, know it's not. Sick boy guru's got dogs one to twelve and cherry anytime at seven twenty. Um, and then what's Wawa the Wawa boy got? What the fuck is that? Has gone at Okar Young dogs one to twelve fourteen six fourteen and six. Yeah, whatever. All right, next game. Manly Broncos, this one's also at Suncorp Stadium. Um, we'll be doing the live streams, I said before, at the we will be Caxton doing Brewing Co. The, live, the, the Ned's live shows at the Lefty's, Lefty's Musical. Musical, and then the live stream of this game, Seagulls Broncos, will be there at 7, is at the Caxton Brewing Co. Brewing Co. With Kempi on KO if you can't make it. Manly, 375. Some would call that short given what's we, what we're going through. Not me. Uh, and then the Broncos, $1.28. Line, 11.5. Some may also call that short. Not me. 
Um, and then 48 and a half points, the total. Rando? Uh, let's get the result over and done with. The Broncos, they have won four of their last five games against Manly on a Friday night by 13 plus points. So I love the line there. For try scorers, Sel and Cobo scored a hat trick in both games. He has played in Magic Round, both of those games against Manly. And Manly have conceded five tries in their last two games on their right side. So that uh, matches perfectly with Selwyn. Thank you. Yeah. I will be making a slight change, punters and dribblers. Tom, if you want to direct, yeah, I'll uh, I'll kick us off. This is one where obviously I will never tip against the Manly Seagulls as long as I live. I'm not like Cody Totes, our uh, trustworthy uh, <laughs> producer who bets against his own side like a dog. But like what a I, dog, like a dog. But what I am going to do is just. Like, the Broncos are obviously very fucking hot and horny in attack. They can leak points. Like, they can teams can score against them. Now, we, were, we are without Tommy, so you may say Manly's completely fucked, but Manly can score points as well. Hopefully, it's not purely down to Tommy. I've got to believe here. So I'm going for a bet here that is absurdly large, but if it gets off, it's, a, it's magic. You know, there's magic in the air. Can magic happen? Hamole and Burbo into a Stags and a Cobbo. If I can wrangle a Stags here with this, not only that, but also the size of this bet, $119.16. Homole, Burbo, Stags, Cobbo. It's not crazy. Burbo can score. Homole can score. Cobbo can score. Stags. It's basically, I'm a Stags away from the greatest bet of my life. So, yep. Yeah. 119 16. I can't say I hate it because I have the same bet, but you swap out Walsh for Burbo. So, obviously, Walsh is going to be significantly shorter. 46 87, though. Still pretty good. Mm. Still pretty good if you mm -hmm. put that in a unit scooper or it's something a, like that. It's a good that. fucking bet. Throw a unit down and you're up at Magic Ground. That pays for your weekend, maybe. Maybe. Depending how much you put on. Yeah, mm. exactly. Well, um, it's exactly right. Yeah. It's exactly right. You um, could say that of anything, bet, a bet though. Depending yeah, on well, you, you know, if you yeah. a unit down, Technically. Though. Yeah, but if you just go a unit or two. Sure. I, I expect points and plenty of them. I really, really do. I... I like the look of some Bri some Bri Brisbane Broncos try scorers this week. I just I can't deny it. Cobo two plus Walsh, and then obviously Hamole back. You just can't stop Hamole. No one can. It's it's not been figured out how how to do it. Some saying it's not possible, which is why I think he he slips nicely into some sky blue, <clears throat> like the color of this jacket. Great jacket. In two weeks' time, and I think that Hamole knows that he's he's sniffing around and a big sniff. I've said that twice of getting into the side, and I think scoring a try really cements his position. Seventy four dollars and forty one cents for four try scorers. Well, three, but one scores two. Yeah, Hamole's turbo proof as well, which is good. Yeah, he is. That's yeah. right, and and he's got DCE still there. Yeah, if he's uh, like yeah. an action figure in a box. Yeah, but he's, yeah, but he's, like he's, he's still got. He's exactly. He's still got Queensland skip yeah. on his inside. Yeah. Guru's gone cooler and Walsh at six thirty four and the Lippy Mariner Walsh Broncos thirteen plus four fifty nine. What a shit bet! Yeah. What to happen for fuck all? What there, a bro. shit bet! Um, we move on to the Titans v the Newcastle Knights. Absolutely placed at 3 p.m. on the Saturday. Uh, makes sense. It does. It makes perfect sense. The Titans are 260. The Knights are dollar fifty. The Lions six and a half, and the total 45 and a half. Rando, any stats to make this game interesting? Well, the Knights have only won two of their last 21 games in Queensland against Queensland teams. They have only won two of one. their last 21. Two of their last 21. Oh. They've only won one of their last eight games against the Titans in Queensland. So there's a bit of stats there to show that the Titans might have the edge as underdogs. For try scorers, I'm going with the gold medal back flipper, David Fafita. He has scored seven tries in his last five games against the Knights and scored in three of his last four games. He is priced at $3.05 for this one. That's fucking insane. Fafita. David Fafita, yeah. What's he for I mean, two? That's what I've got in. Uh, like, Fafita, for, like, Fafita, the best thing about Fafita for two plus is he's a player who doesn't need a fucking score off the back of shape or anything like that. If you're 10 <laughs> metres out, you can just pick it up from dummy half and run through, like, five guys. And when you're talking about the Newcastle Knights, you're like, well, I'm liking the chance of that happening. Mm. So I'm throwing Fafita in for two plus, which is around 11 bucks. It's because 11. If you're just throwing a gag guy who can score... It gets you to fifty two twenty six. Jeez, Seb, I, don't I love that bet. Hate that. I love it. I uh, I've just thrown in for feeder two plus there. I've changed my bet. I had best in for feeder, and now I've gone for feeder two plus. But I wouldn't mind 
saying, Eddie, I'm going to throw yeah. to you just while I no, look at like yeah, what else I can just, put well, in there. Well, what we if, just need to throw what one if, other what thing What if we did and, this? <laughs> what if we did this, Tom? What are we doing? What if, what, we just, what if we had a little look at a DF, David Fafita for two plus, yep. and then a BB, 38.25. Now, it's it's hard not to like that. Gay guy doesn't score that much. No, I'm not. Six tries about in his last five against the Titans, though. Who? Who? Gay guy. Gay guy. How many? Wow. Six tries in his last five. That's a bit of vibe, if you ask me. Shit. That's just <laughs> vibe. Pointed my finger to Gaga for some reason. I haven't bet on him once this year, but you know the stars are. Bradman's in some form. <laughs> Bradman may not play. There's still a chance. I know he's been named, but wasn't he? Didn't he? Wasn't he? Didn't he have like a hamstring injury or some shit that we were reading about yesterday? Not sure. We did read about that. We did read about that. That's obviously not. Let me just read the team list news. Let's go. He's named. No, but if there's like, if they say, oh, there's potential doubt. Um, where are we here for Braddy Best? Knights injury to Tyson Gamble brings fullback Jack Cogger in. Da, 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 Nothing. Da, 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 da. Nothing. 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 Interesting. It's interesting. But you've got to remember, no, like, no halves. For you know, they've got injuries. Yeah. The Titans, AJ's out. Yeah, but, but that's what he's saying. Yeah. So it's like it's like Operation Give the Ball to yeah. David. You don't need him to play off the back of shape. You just need him. you just need to somehow get to ten meters out, and he's got a shot. I'm that's just doing the feet of two plus at eleven bucks. And he loves so he gonna, loves scooting out a dummy half and doing yeah. it all himself. I'm not going to add something in there and wig myself. <laughs> and you know, news cycle. If you like news cycle bets, obviously for feeder. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go best and Fafita, 6.75. Yeah, Fafita 2 plus for me at $11-y dues. Guru, first or second try, Armstrong, 6.60. And the Lippy, Fafita, Marju, Knight, 7.71. Just another gross-looking bet for This guy's bets have been fucking rank. Yeah. No, this is flush his head down the toilet at school sort of stuff. Oh, dude, this guy got flushed. Yeah. This guy got flushed with an inch of his life. Yeah, big time. <laughs> this guy was what, like, I, Mate, what would the overs and unders on him, on him getting flushed be? Like, like how many flushed? times? So he's at school, high school, he's there for six years. Yeah, he's, flushing gets he's, done in he's, high school. He's flushed seven and eight at least. Yeah. yeah. There's, what, 40 weeks of the year at school, in class, I mean. He's probably got flushed in the first two years alone at least 20 times. That's the over-under. <laughs> well, fuck. 20 flushing. Who's to say you weren't flushed a couple of times a week? Well, I'm saying, I reckon he was at least flushed. If he was getting flushed once a month... Because you just need one, yeah. probably like then that's twenty. I reckon it would be more once a week because bullies like to operate on a bit more of a schedule. They know that <laughs> yeah. he's going to his locker for that free period. And yeah, that's oh, an easy, after easy my science flushing. class, they're not going to go hunt flush. him down for. Yeah. A so flush. in two yeah, years, right. the over under is eighty flushings. Eighty flushings. Oh, he's betting like it. He's betting like a bloke that was flushed eighty times in yeah. the first uh, by some year ten bully, <laughs> who obviously had some issues at home, but like that's just yeah. the way he. That's the way yeah. he dealt with it. Um, definitely a flushing into a <laughs> nightly bed wet. Um, <laughs> yeah, he had the plastic sheets. Yeah. No doubt. Oh, yeah. Sharks, roosters. Alarm going off every night. Yeah. Beep, 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 yeah, beep. Yeah, yeah. Get up. Sorry, you I was dreaming about yourself. getting flushed again. <laughs> um, <laughs> sharks, roosters. Uh, sharks, 235. Interesting. Uh, the roosters, $1.60. Was Nico not named again? No, Nico's named, there. He's walking. Oh, okay, uh, Braden Trindle's in the reserves, which is... And he's Potential. been walking. He's been walking around Shark yeah. Park, mate. He hasn't okay. trained at all. Okay. okay. Um, the line is three and a half, and the total forty one and a half. Rando, we probably just discussed some of the things you may be bringing up. Uh, Craig Fitzgibbon is who I'm going to look at here. He's lost all three games as coach at Suncorp, and the Sharks were favourite in all those three games. Of course, they are the underdog this time, and the reason for that might be because the Roosters have won eight of their last nine games against the Sharkies. They've got uh, a little hoodoo going on against them. For try scorers, Daniel Tupo is playing game 250, and I know, Tommy, you're not a big milestone man, but hear me out here. He has scored in every milestone game he has played except his debut. He is also one try away from another milestone, 150 tries, and he has also scored four tries in his last four games against the Sharks. Fucking oath, Rando. Mm. I actually just had him in there anyway, oh, just there by go, a there pure f- uh, <laughs> turn of fate. Um, I I don't mind this bet. Tupu, uh, I do find sometimes doesn't bang for me when I would like him to, and then I, uh, there is the milestone thing, which I didn't know, but... 
I've got um, I'm like I'm real Oliver Twisting on Angus Crichton. Please, mm. sir, I want some more sort of yeah. stuff. It's impossible not to at the moment. Uh, like, Oliver Twist has already been done. It's yeah, something even, it, even yeah. beyond that. No, you well, this know is what I mean? this is a fat. This is a really fat <laughs> fucking uh, orphan who's just yeah. like keeps coming back. <laughs> um, he's got it too good. You could argue. Yeah. I'm going Angus Crichton. I do have Tupo again, uh, and then I'm going Katoa. I don't think this is a crazy bet. Seventeen thirty-eight. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's crazy because I had the, the same. Th- I had Mulatalo instead of Katoa, but just all that talk of flushing get, got me a vibe that I think the Roosters might flush the Sharks. You think it's going to be a flushing? Well, I just think because everyone's going to be high on the Sharks because they beat Melbourne or whatever. Maybe yeah. it was just something that happened. I just, Roosters have been flushing sides recently. Like yeah. they've been flushing them back to back flushings. And when the Roosters get their tails up, they just keep flushing and flushing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they're, they're in a mood yeah. to flush. Yeah. And, and Sam Walker with yeah. that beard. Yeah. It's, uh, hot it's a good stuff. point. It's, it's hot stuff. It's a good point. I'm avoiding any Sharks try I might have here. to fucking go I, with you. And yeah. I can do it yeah. because Rando did give a stat. That's to suggest that, you know, a flushing could be a foot. So, so I'm taking the Oliver Twist, Dommy Crichton, flushing Tupu with the rando stats. I just like, I just think it's going to happen. I, think I fuck Sebo. That's a, I might have to control C, control V that one. <laughs> fuck off, Katoa. That's a flushing. Yeah, 1350. Uh, I mean, I'll take 1350. As much as I hate the Roosters, you can back them to just keep flushing sides when they're in a mood. I also don't hate them. Like, I hate them when, like, I hate them, but, like, they've got really good players. And when they're ripping, it's hard to not like yeah. them a little bit, Correct. even though you hate them. Yeah, they like, they do what you're meant to be doing very well. Yes. And so you respect them, and they've got good players. They play, yeah, they've got good players. Who play after well. living in Bondo for like five years, you're like, Bondo's a great place as well. Yeah. Like, you know, there's a lot of boxes being ticked here, but as a bunny spot, obviously hate them. But um, yeah, they're the flushing. The Sharks, something about the Sharks. Something, something about the Sharks screams inconsistency to me. Yeah, you know, I don't like, think they've been tested properly yet. That's my opinion. Obviously, they beat Melbourne last week, but I don't care. I no, just neither. overlooked that. Shark, the Rooster got their tail up. I will be going full blown. Please, sir, can I have some more, sir? Young and Crichton bang for me in six minutes last week. So that's obviously the, fact the bet. It's paying six forty four. That's good. obviously the bet. That's what the bet is. It banged in six weeks. I'm not going away from that. Like, yeah, I completely understand that you boys want to flush and you want to get a tubes in there for thirteen fifty. I respect that. But if I get if I get, you know, one of the great layups last week with a six minute bang. And I come in here and get a bit greedy guts. I just don't think that's the right vibe. Yep. I'm just gonna fucking play it straight down the bu- straight down the line. I'm actually going full flush. <laughs> Young cry in six point four. Oh, sorry. Just in terms of while we're flushing, I'm actually adding another another flush on this toilet, and that's I'm adding Suali'i. So so, that, so 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 Dummy Crichton and Tupo is a half flush and this is a, is a full flush. Yeah, this is a full flush. So that's four tri scores. 47-44. If they flush, that ain't bad, dude. You need a full flush though. Yeah, yeah. it needs to be a full flush. A full flush, a royal flush. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> Guru has got Iro, Young, and Sharks one to twelve, obviously sick as a dog, so that's a fever bet, twenty thirty eight. <laughs> 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 Lippy, Mulatalo, and Tupo at 435. Another fucking rank bet from the f- from the kid who got flushed. Yeah, from the flush air. They, look, look at the PTSD on these bets, dude. It's just, <laughs> it's outrageous. Yeah, waterlogged. Uh, we move on to the Rabbitohs and the Cows. 335 for the Rabbitohs, dollar 33 for the Cows. Eight and a half points is the line, and 51 and a half the total. Fuck, they're expecting some rugby league points here. Rando? Uh, the Rabbitohs, they have all the good stats going into this one. Obviously, historic-wise, as I mentioned before, they've won all four games they've played at Magic Round. Uh, they've also won seven of their last eight games against the Cowboys. They're expecting points here because in the last five games the Cowboys have played against the Wooden Spooners, their points have gone over the points handicap. So plenty of points in them. The Cowboys obviously being dragged to that style of play like they have the last five weeks. But that doesn't matter. So Rabbitohs, probably good value there to possibly cover the line for try scorers Kyle Felt I know we keep saying he's cursed on this uh, panel but the right winger has scored in nine straight games against the Rabbitohs to open the season see him crashing over if not Tommy Dearden he scored in each of his last two games against the Bunnies as well and is looking pretty juicy for value mm. I think this game's fucking rank played by yeah. two rank sides that's what I think. Fair now. Like, just dog shit. So, 
I'm just going to – I've looked at the at the overs market, which is, what, 51 and a half or whatever it is, and they just – they clearly expect tries. The two worst offensive sides in the comp, these two. So there's going to be points out there. And I'm just going to put in two point scorers. AJ's back. I'm going to put him down for a double. And Anai, who scores doubles all the time, put him together 38-97. Simple the, as that. The concerns sometimes I have, because I know it's like, you know, you play the Titans, you expect points, all that sort of shit, is that sometimes when you've got two sides that are leaky as fuck and you're like, oh, this is going to be... You know, sometimes we'll be like, this is this is open up your wallet, just get yeah. ready for it to just all start pouring in, try score a bingo sort of shit. But then sometimes it can cancel it out. I just actually looked at this game and I... <laughs> There are probably worse games of rugby league this weekend, but I was the least inspired about this game. And I just thought, fuck it. Who's in the news? Who have I seen? Whose face have I seen this week? It was Jack White at a press conference. So I'm just going him first try score of 17 bucks. Fuck Simple it. That. Just, game 250 this week for Jackie Boy as well. Huh? He's FTS him. Game 250. Game 250. Means nothing. Means nothing. <laughs> uh, $17 though, Jackie FTS. Yeah, I I think I was talking last week. We just forget the right side of the bunnies at the moment. It's third string half. It's kind of like when you're playing Age of Empires and your town's getting attacked and you've got troops and you've got villages over there and you're like, fuck the mill. Just leave it. Fuck it. Like, leave that battalion over there. We've got to attack through here. So Trill and Cody, my last stand. And they did that last week. They were just going down there a lot, trying heaps of shit out. Cody nearly got over. Trill got over twice. I'm going those two again. Uh, and then Val. There's no better time to get on someone who probably ruined thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars of multi last week when he was over and didn't put the ball down. That was... There were some huge multis lost. That was did, you see, did you see the big one he ruined? Yeah. <laughs> Four, was it 38000 $44,000. 44000 I, I don't know how I'd handle that. 44000 I'd have a fucking brat attack. You would, right? You just... You, yeah. It I'd wasn't like he knocked and it shit. He was over. He just had to fall... He just... He, he just had to put it down. All he had to do was put it down. Put I don't down. know why it was coming in. He was always going to get hit anyway. So. It was... Yeah. That was tough. Put to the ball down. I've yeah. lived it. I've lived it over. Yeah, so we I don't think a back. lot of those people will be living. They'll see Val will score, and everyone from last week will just be going fucking. Val, that multi man, in particular, like, I think that's the worst beat of all time. Yeah, forty four thousand dollars. Yeah, that has to be the worst beat of all time. It well, is. it'd be like, close, wouldn't it? I'm sure there's a couple are out there, but that's a oh fucking. Oh jeez, it'd be one. a fucking hell if it's not on the podium. What is? Yeah, like because he's. The he's only, over. Yeah, he's, he's over. over. The he's only over. reason that bet doesn't get up is because he opts to not put the ball down. Like That's it. He, he, he's, and, he's, and he's paid to do what? Put the fucking thing he's down. He's paid to put the ball down. He's two metres into the in goal by the time he gets hit yeah. by Jojo. Get out right now. Yep. It's the end of you and me. Big time. It's too late. We can't wait for you to be gone. Because I know. And I wonder. How I bought all the lies. You said. You you right. Right. It's, it's just, just a waste, waste of time. time. Waste, waste of time. time. Okay. Uh, did we have we bet yet? What did Guru do here? He's gone drinky. Cows minus eight and a half, double staked. I'm done with drinky. Eh? I like. Has he scored much this year? Nah. He has. He he started hot, but now he's gone. Yeah, he's got a couple game early game. on. So everyone thinks he's the. Try I scorer. like. I like watching the uh, the Roo sort of because he can't bet for shit. The <laughs> no. So I like him doubling stuff. That's fun. Yeah, that is good. Go double it up hard. There's a world where South win this game somehow. Yeah. I don't know. I, there's no, a, there's, mate, the you know Cowboys after are, last after last week. The, the Cowboys the are so shit. Yeah. Uh, they're just they're just a yeah. shit rugby league. Yeah. <laughs> because do you remember the year before they're they went awful. well? The year before they went well, they oh, were they the grossest side to yeah. watch. Yeah. Yeah. The grossest side to watch. And then they had one good year. When was that now? That was not last year, year before. Yeah. So it was really good. And then I remember <laughs> Harvey, friend yeah. of the show, big uh, big Cows fan. Off the back of that, like where they're in the top four, maybe. Yeah. And then they just sucked so much dick to start the year last year. And they've basically, like, they're still, they can win some games, but like, everyone was so horny for them being top of the table after two or three rounds this year. It was like, can you guys get it? No game? one pulls wool like the Cowboys. The amount yeah. of analysts in particular that have literally, like, blown that side for the last two years going, they could win the comp. Yeah. Uh, they could win the spoon more like it, bro. Yeah. Let's get Same with the Wars. <laughs> Uh, and then what's the old uh, Toilet Boy doing? Toilet Boy, Bunnies plus eight and a half, Troll White, and that's probably his best bet. Yeah, that, so is, far. that is. That's not a bad bet. Uh, Warriors, Panthers. This is $4.80. Another team that everyone sucked off at the start of the year, the Warriors, because they had one good year. That's yeah. how the Warriors do it. One on, one off. 
Saying, um, uh, yeah, basically. They're like FIFA. We, it's like uh, one week on, fucking one week off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, no, not even. They're well, just one off. Year on, no, one they're year off at the moment. No, they are. But yeah, sorry, no, it's, it's not one not week, week on. It's one years. year. One year on. They, one year off. Yeah, as someone said the other day, saying up the wires is like a bit cringe now. Yeah, it is because they. It's over. It's over. Yep. Up the wires is not hitting the so same. Mm, no, it's not. Now, they are $4.80. The Panthers, $1.19. Uh, the line, 13.5. Total, 41.5 points. Rando. Uh, obviously, the Warriors have made a little shift to their halves with Chansey coming into 5'8 to partner T. Marie Martin, which doesn't bode well for them scoring points, in my opinion. The Panthers, they've kept their opponents to one try in each of their last three games at Suncorp. They've kept the Warriors to one try in three of their last four head-to-head. For the Warriors to score exactly one try is $3.80. For the Panthers to be the only team to score 10 or more points, that's paying $2.75, which is a bit more better value there. For try scorers, obviously you got Brian Toto. He has scored in his last five games against the Warriors, but he is fuck all value. So I've looked at Liam Martin here. That's a change for you. I know, exactly. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Ever since you've been in Fiji, I've changed my <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. I know. Uh, Liam Martin at $3.35 has scored in each of his last three games against the Warriors. Okay. Okay. okay, you're Rand, starting to go. learn, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Here you're starting we go. to learn. Like dollar, like dollar ten <laughs> isn't value. We don't like to get bets up. We need just to see <laughs> fucking big value. That's how we get horny. Not a fucking. Tr- Can I ask you a question? Please. Where like they do the Panthers keep changing the fucking side of the field? Their wings are playing. Yeah, they are. Where's Taruva playing? Taruva. Well, <laughs> I think the 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 uh, the thing was with Toto going to right was to stop that. Panthers left it. So that Bulldogs left edge. I think that was the whole reason they moved him. So I wouldn't be surprised if he reverts back to left wing to river to right. You can't fuck it. I hope and so. then you but when they pay outside Jerome, he just j- jinks back in. Yeah. Like Well, the other thing now is that Jack Cole coming into the lineup, he will always occupy the left side next year with Nathan Cleary. So they put Luai at half pack. So it could be Luai jumping on the right and then Cole on the right. left as well. So you just don't know what Ivan's going to do. I just, yeah. It's so yeah, it's fucking hard to shot. bet on these, like a, specifically a Panthers game, yeah. uh, which is going to be what? Is that a Sunday? Sunday, that, yep. Like it's difficult to do that mm. when I'm this far out. You know, yeah. I can't either fucking side up. But fuck it. I'm going Taruva 2 plus. I'm going Panthers to win, obviously. Taruva 2 plus and then May anytime. So basically... You know, it's pretty fucking definitely going to happen. Uh, but fourteen fifty-two. I don't hate it. Like, there's four legs, but you take the Panthers' win out of it. Oh, it's Taruva and May. I'm trying to take outside backs out of it because of this stuff going up. Penrith, what, two half backs are down. Jerome might be swapping sides. Whatever side he's on, he doesn't pass the ball out there anyway. They seem to be turning, he, turning it back into forwards a lot. Mm. I like what Rando's done there uh, with Martin. So I'm going to take him. Uh, and then also fish. He got over a couple of weeks ago. If it's just going to be turning it back into forwards, I'm just. Take, I just I want to ca- stay away from outside backs. Now I'll take Dill, the ghost, because he's coming through the middle. He's not an outside back, but with Cleary out, he always goes to another level. Those three, Edwards, who scores every week, uh, Martin, who seems to be scoring with Rando stats. It's really just fish. Those three, fifty three eighty. It's paying a lot. Yeah, nice one to hit. That's Fisher scored more tries than, like, I'm not shooting on your bit, but even May this year probably. You know what I mean? And he's an eight. Fuck, I hope yeah, that's not there. true. It is. It Mate, is true. I, he scored more than May. I, I think actually, they both scored one. They both scored May's due then. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. yeah, they both scored one. There you go. So Fuck. You're better that's off getting good. on Fisher Harris than that's May. That's not good at all. And May's was off like an intercept or something. What's you know Taruva what I mean? 2 plus and Fish paying me? <laughs> I was going to go May and May into Edwards because... I mean, listen, he just he just scores at will, basically. But I will be changing that to Edwards into Martin. Yeah, maybe a 737 <laughs> punters and dribblers. A uh, lot of Blue Mountains about this bet. Oh, a lot of Blue right, Mountains about Edward. that bet. A lot of Blue Mountains <laughs> about the bet. Hold on. Where's Edwards from? The mountains. Where's fucking Martin from? Central West. Got to go over the mountains to get there, but he's got a lot of mountain about him. Now, I don't know where to... It doesn't change my bet all that much, to be honest. Uh, if I throw in Martin instead of May, so fuck it, I'm going to do it. See you, Talon. Uh, it's going to get me to... So it's Panthers, Taruva 2+, plus Liam Martin anytime. I'm getting 19... Four, uh, sorry, 17.45. Not great. 
my least favourite bet of the week. Guru, Tungo, first try, score of 10 bucks. And Lippy, Panthers, 13 plus, Edwards and Tyler, 517. I mean, jeez, he needs some of these to hit or he's fucked. 517, good God. Uh, not a bad bet, though. All right. Storm v. the Eels. Dollar twenty-four for the Storm, four ten for the Eels. Thirteen and a half is the line, and the forty-five and a half total points. Mister Corbs, what's up? Uh, obviously, the Eels have had a good run against the Storm, winning four of their last six games against them. But they are very injury de- injury depleted. Uh, they've conceded over thirty points in their last three games that they've missed. Uh, King Guffo, and they haven't been. In the, they've only won one of their thirteen games against the Storm on a Sunday. For try scorers, though, you got to just keep hitting Mike Acevo. The left side is absolutely dominating for Parramatta with no Mitch Moses out there on the right. Sevo, he has a great record uh, against the Storm, scoring. Uh, Six tries in his last four games against them. He's $2.30 for a bit more value. Uh, Nick Meaney has also scored four tries in his last four games against Parramatta as well. And the right centre has been hitting against the Eels of late. I'm going, this is a magic round bet. Like just for some, like I'm picking sort of like magic players. Like the next gen, everyone's got a lot of hype around them. And it's just a fullback bet. Blaze and Farlongo anytime. Who the fuck knows how that's mm. going to go? But Blaze at fullback is is hot yeah, he's stuff. Good. He's good. And Far Longo is uh, hot stuff as well, and he's playing his shit side, so you'd hope that he would be able to do it. So if anyone's going to do it for the the Eels, I feel like Blaze has a crack, and Far Longo, I feel like you're almost guaranteed six forty nine for that. Nothing crazy. It's not going nothing to wake your fucking mum up for and go guess the, look at the value yeah. I got here. Anything over right. six for two is uh, pretty good. It's okay. You're not going to wake your mum up, though. You're not waking mum up for that. Annabelle not getting woken She's up. She's not getting woken up for that. Louise not getting woken up either. Katoa into Falongo, 571. I mean, I just... It was one of those bets where I wasn't really sure what to do. What do you and think Louise would say? She wouldn't know what the fuck that means, Tom. Mm, yeah, fair. She wouldn't know what the fuck that means. Yeah. But if it, if it gets up and I said, well, listen, I've just made 50 bucks. I've just won 50 bucks. That might move the needle. Yeah, okay. Cool. Makes sense? Mm. Yeah, cool. good to know. Seba? Yeah, I'm also going for Longo. Oh, for how I say it, for a Longo. For a Longo. You got for it. Longo. Yeah. I think we're all on him, which is not good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not good. I'm going him as well. Coates seems to be scoring at will. And Was this his first game back from injury? Yep. Yeah, and he, did he score a hat trick before he went out? Maybe, yeah. Yep. And uh, Hughes is out though, right? Yeah, Hughes yeah. is out. So I like that left side. It's keeping it left because Hughes is out. Munster will be the primary guy. And then Dill Brown seems to be doing it himself. He's scored a couple tries in the last few games he's played. He's you're still getting good value for him. So that those three together is fifteen bucks. He scored a try last week. He scored a try for me that got a bet up a few weeks ago. I'm actually vibing deal. That's me. Cute mate. Rue another double. Coates into Far Longo at three thirty two. He's he's doubled that. Oof. Which is interesting. Two Ooh. two low doubles. One three fifty four. That one three thirty two. We we hope we pray that goes down. We do. And the lippy coats into the brick two eighty three, good lord! Listen, it's it's uh, it's very low. It's it's probably like I mean, the, as the odds would suggest, likely to happen. But Jesus, um, where are we here? Last game of the round. We got the tigers and the fish to round out magic round. Three seventy five for the tigers. A dollar twenty eight for the fishies. 11.5 points is the line, and 45.5 is the total, Rando. Anything interesting or cool about this one? Uh, the only magic trick here is that the Tigers have won three of their four magic round games, so they do perform at Suncorp at this time of the year. Uh, so take that in consideration when looking at the line. For try scorers, you've got to hit Herbie Farnworth here. The left centre has scored in each of the last three games against the Tigers. Don't know if you boys watched that night's Tigers game, but Brent Naden was woeful against Bradman Best. So I think Herbie's going to have a field day on him this weekend. He's $2.30. Might shock you, Rando. I missed that one. That's all good. $2, I was just looking. $2.30 for two or more tries. No, just for one. Oh, I thought... Okay, no. I'm looking for Herbie, Herbie. Herbie. That's Yo, what I'm yeah, yeah. I would I was disgusted by this game, so I've just gone to Sarko first try score of seven twenty five. Pretty like just Yep. 
whatever. Mate, I, this is a very, this is like we'll possibly be on a flight or at least we won't be paying attention. Um, I've gone box stock two plus and then I've gone Buller two plus. That's a Fijian element to it. Now, maybe I'm not in Fiji anymore and maybe I should have done it then. But I've still got the remnants of tanned skin, at least under the shirt. Uh, so box stock and Buller two plus each, that's 93.85. It's a Is real it box stock or bow stock? Bow stock. Bow stock. Well, who gives a shit, you know? I was mean? just checking for my own knowledge, you know? With respect to you, bow stock, it does read box stock in the English. No, it doesn't. It's B O C K. It's B O S. Oh, B-O-S. sorry. <laughs> I really have fucked you there. I just wrote it wrong. Uh, um, boss stock, yeah, not boss stock. stock and two smoking <laughs> barrels. Um, I'm always, I've changed. Yeah, I'm going to take uh, Randos here. Uh, his stats, that is. I'm going to take Herbie two plus uh, because for some reason this game. The try scorers are like the shortest out of any of them. I don't know why, but I don't know. So I'm going to take Herbie two plus, and Jesus. I had Asako dollar fifty seven, Hammer dollar seventy three, yeah. Bostock not Bostock a dollar seventy seven. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So uh, ha- Herbie and Hammer to Herbie to score two, Hammer to score one is fifteen twenty six. I have no idea why this game is so gross to bet on. But it is. So I find if you get a sneaky little two plus in a gross game, it can get you up there. Yep. All right. Um, Rue, Nikorima, Azako, and Hamiso, 1391. And the Lippy rounds out. Just a really rank week with Herbie and Bostock, $4.02. There we go. That's, that's the round. That's the round, punters and dribblers. Let's get to hot seat. Or well, Rue's not here. He'll probably post scuba. it on. So we'll, okay, we'll post Rue's hot seat yep. on Instagram. We are scooping units. I, um, I'm i just going to kick things off here because I think this one's going to get up. Like, this is – I haven't been this high on a unit scooper for, fuck, maybe ever. Going to try score a smoothie here, one from every game, if you don't know what that is. Uh, Joshy Carr into a Selly Cobbs into an Inari Tuala. Into Domi Young, into Nanai, into Taruva, into Coates, into Boxstock. You're getting 168.92. Not bad. It's pretty fucking good, dude. I've gone Broncos minus 11.5 into Walsh, Roosters minus 3.5 into Tupo, and Nanai 1988. Not bad there. I am just going to maybe add in... Is there a way you can combine all the legs from a bet you've put on? No, you can't. I was going to throw in Cobbo, but I've got Walsh, Joshy Carr, Dommy, Coates, Hammer, and then there's the PGA Championship on uh, this weekend. For T20 throwing in a Ram and a Homer there, that gets me 74.42. Cute, mate. Walsh, Joshy, Dommy, Coates, Hammer... Ram Homer seventy four. Jeez, this. I mean, like, I don't know fucking anything about golf really, but like, I know enough to know that I don't. Well, John Ram's great. That's what I mean. And then Homer's Homer, like, like he he's paying about three bucks, but he like I think he was like fifth at the Masters or something. Like he's he can do it. He's he's on a bit of a streak. So yeah. Rue Walsh Dommy Drinky Coates Hammer twenty two fifteen. He's been hitting those. The that's a good bet. Drinkies probably the problem yeah, there. Yeah, there's, there's some problematic elements. Yeah, drinkies. Lippy, Adokar, Walsh, Marju, Edwards, Coates, Herbie, 52-69. That is us. One of those is banging. One of those feels one, like yeah, it's banging. Yeah, one, yeah, there's a weird feeling. One of I've banging. got a bit of a magic <laughs> round bang feeling. Anyway, that's us. Shout out to Neds once more. We love you. Without whom, couldn't be possible. What's your, uh, what's your fucking uh, your Patreon? Patreon, our random stats guy has been banging lately. So yeah. Magic Round stats are out on Thursday and you can join from just $2.50 a week for those this week. Love it. All right, nice, we'll mate. see you next week. Bye. Go Manly. You win some, you lose more. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.